Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today we are going to be doing a trailer breakdown for the new trailer that just came out for Ghostbusters 3, also known as Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, now, this is not related to the 2016 Ghostbusters at all. This is supposed to be a direct sequel to Ghostbusters 2, um, and also maybe like a kind of a partial reboot. I'll, I'll get into that as we get into the trailer, but... Um, at, ultimately, this looks interesting, but uh, let's let, let's dive in. And the first part of it is we see these two uh, young kids and what looks like a single mother. Uh, they confirm that the, the the father is either gone or dead or something along those lines. So it's it, it just her. She's just bringing in money for the family. And basically, at the beginning of it, um, it's explained the son is giving a monologue over the scene, and it's explained that uh, basically that the family is broke, and the only place that they have left is this uh, old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere that uh, I think it's supposed to be Kansas, but I could be wrong, um, where, uh, and... Uh, like I said, I think it. I think it's in Kansas. Uh, it looks like a lot like Kansas. We see like what looks like an old like oil uh, pump, or uh, from a, you know an old oil field and stuff like that. The house itself is extremely dilapidated, um, and basically it's the mother, the son, and the two kids. And then we see this. The, the trailer kind of goes along like this, almost like this weird little coming of age story. Until you get we get to a scene where there's the son and what looks like a girl around his age are both sitting on this little uh, rickety. Uh, chair next to this hole in the ground for whatever reason um, and they start feeling a tremor and as soon as they start feeling a tremor they back up and this green like waterfall of like ectoplasm shoots out of the hole in the ground and uh, it, it's very easy it, it, pretty much at that point you've kind of connected the dots that uh, this you know it, it was put out I think it was put out in a press release already but these two children are the grandchildren of uh, e Egon Speckler the you know Harold Ramis's character from the original Ghostbusters which is the reason why he is not in the film obviously because he's dead um, but that is him being written out of the film basically or being you know that's how that's where that's what happened to Egon he passed away that this is his uh, these are his grandkids, and they stumble upon this stuff. And basically, they go through kind of this monologue. Paul Rudd, uh, and I can't remember what character he actually plays, but he looks to be a teacher. Um, and he is, uh, he basically is kind of explaining to the kids. He's kind of like the exposition dump, at least in, in terms of the trailer. Uh, because he's the one that explains to the kids about the Ghostbusters. Because these kids don't know about the Ghostbusters. Now, the thing I will say is that the trailer kind of plays up the idea that Egon's kind of ghostbusting days were basically kind of a dirty little family secret. You know, it's not something that the kids really knew about. Uh, you know, the direct children, his direct children probably did, but his grandkids never really knew about it. Um, and that's kind of how they play it up, is that this is kind of like a forgotten thing, which I find kind of odd, considering New York City almost fucking imploded in the first Ghostbusters. Um, and it almost got engulfed by slime in the second one. So it's kind of, uh, I feel like with uh, having that happen to a major metropolitan area is a little bit weird to forget about. It's kind of like, oh yeah, we forgot about 9-11. Um, it doesn't really feel, uh, feel like that's going to happen. Um, but uh, regardless of that, just for suspension of disbelief for the trailer, um, basically what happens is, is they find out that uh, Egon had been keeping all of these things uh, in, I presume to be some kind of an underground bunker, uh, because the daughter finds this, uh, she finds a ghost trap that's been hidden inside the home that it looks like it has a ghost in it. Uh, there's a scene where Paul Rudd has it, and it opens up a little bit. You see this green light come out of it, this ectoplasm light. So maybe Slimer's locked in there for all we know. That Maybe that's how he gets back in the movie. Um, but then we see she goes through... Uh, the, the granddaughter goes down and goes down into this uh, tunnel, and she goes through... Uh, she finds, like, all the old Ghostbusters gear. She finds the proton packs, um, and eventually she finds the, uh, the uniforms, the jumpsuits they used to wear. And she actually... With, it cuts away right before you can kind of make it out, but there's a an, uh, there's a uh, a uh, a thing. There, there's a name plastered on one of the jumpsuits, obviously because they all had their names on their individual jumpsuits, and it looks like it's it's Speckler. Um, 
So it's it's very interesting to kind of see that again because she's kind of rediscovering this stuff. You see her with the little uh, ghost detector that Egon has at the beginning of the first Ghostbusters. Uh, you see them with the proton packs. And then the last part of it is they find the Ecto-1. And it's the original Ecto-1. It looks like, uh, you know, they, they do throw in a little bit of, of stuff from the old Ghostbusters in terms of just having them in it. They are in the movie, apparently, but they don't show them in this trailer, which I think is fine. You want to establish the new characters first, and that's okay. Um, and then you also have this monologue by Bill Murray that's over the middle part of the trailer, uh, where it looks like there's a ghost, like, flying through stuff. It shows it, like, shattering a bunch of uh, windows on a bus. Which, again, I think is kind of interesting. But um, they go through the, this kind of uh, monologue with him, and it, it's a very, very good monologue. And it sounds just... It, it sounds like Bill Murray stepped right back into the shoes of Peter Venkman. Uh, and I love that. I love that to death, because it, it was what, it's something that has been missing. You know, in Ghostbusters 2016, he was a joke. You know, and now it seems that Bill Murray has thrown his hat back in the ring and he's back involved in this and he's not just kind of stepping around it or doesn't care or doesn't want anything to do with it. It seems like he's full on uh, committed to this just based on that. Um, you know, and I, I would be very happy to see him in the film, you know, actually giving a shit for a change. Um, but, uh, you know. Like I said, we go through the trailer, and then we go to the Ecto-1, and it's kind of funny because the kids are driving the Ecto-1 around, and they find out that apparently there's a gunner seat on the Ecto-1, and it puts the granddaughter outside the Ecto-1 with the proton package. He's just shooting stuff in the small town. Um, and there's a whole like subplot around apparently the, the, the town has had seismic activity, but it's not near any fault lines, or there's nothing like going on in the town that would cause this. Um, and basically they're saying that, you know, it's you know, the the insinuation is that it's something involving ghosts, again, because we see the ectoplasm shoot out of the hole in the ground at the beginning of the trailer. So there's a lot of stuff that's kind of interconnected in here. We don't know exactly what's going on. We don't know what the big bad villain is for this, if there even is one, um, or if this is just kind of a reintroduction type of film. Um, you know, I, I'm not 100% certain, you know, what they're kind of aiming for with that. Again, this trailer is very minimalist, but that's what it should be. It doesn't commit the Cardinal Sin of Trailers. It introduces you to the new characters. It reminds you of the old characters, um, even though it doesn't show them. Um, there is one other thing that uh, happens in the very near the end of the trailer that's very interesting that somebody pointed out to me, which is that there looks like there is some kind of a creature that lands on the hood of uh, the family station wagon. Not the Ecto-1, their car, their, their, their actual normal drive-around-everyday car. And the foot looks an awful lot like one of Gozer's dogs from the first uh, Ghostbusters, which would be very interesting if that was the case. Um, because those uh, animals are only supposed to be around when Gozer is there, or Zool, or, or whatever god you want to you want to put on it, but uh, they're, they're, that's the only reason why they're supposed to be there. So that's very, very interesting that they would uh, put that in, given that supposedly Gozer was defeated in the first Ghostbusters. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I don't, uh, again, they, they don't show anything else in this trailer. It's not overly flashy uh, in terms of any of the stuff that shows. It's not like 2016. We don't actually even see a ghost in this trailer, which I find kind of interesting. Um, but that does concern me a little bit because I know the CGI in the newer Ghostbusters was, you know, it looked like neon crap on screen. Uh, so I'd be very curious if they kind of went back to the old way of doing things when it came to the, the Ghostbusters franchise. They're going to go with more practicals and just have like some camera tricks and stuff. Um, so that would be very interesting to see if they actually do manage to do that. But we don't really see a whole lot. And again, I'm fine with that. I, I'm fine with being introduced to these characters. I'm glad this is a continuation of the Ghostbusters, the original line of Ghostbusters films and not another reboot because we saw how that went. Um, but uh, ultimately, the, I didn't think the trailer was bad. I enjoyed the trailer. I'm still skeptical about the film because it is Sony and because they fucked it up royally the first time around. Uh, but, you know, 
that that's just kind of my opinion. But, you know, as usual, I will link the trailer in the description below. And I want to know what your opinion is. Are you excited for the new Ghostbusters film? Uh, do you think that this is, uh, this is something that's not going to do well because of Ghostbusters 2016 or because you don't have faith in Sony Pictures or the people that are doing the film? Um, you know, I'd like to know uh, what your opinions are on it. Again, put them in the comments below. I, I always like to know what you're thinking. Um, make sure to uh, hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you...